Welcome to the Website Builder. This is the dashboard, and it's the first thing you see once you log in. If you've just started building your website, you may notice a list of tasks in the What Should I Do Next section. These are designed to get you started in creating your site. You can also view traffic statistics and a list of recently edited pages. Recent sales will show up here as well. In the upper right corner, the View Your Website and Help buttons are available throughout the Website Builder. Making new pages is easy. Simply click on the Create Menu item from the Pages menu. You can create as many pages as you like, 10 pages at a time. Remember to limit your pages to letters, numbers, and spaces only. If you do use a symbol, such as the AND symbol, it will automatically be converted to the word AND for you. Notice that the AND symbol has been converted. Once you're finished creating your pages, you'll be able to edit them. Editing pages is easy. Click the blue Edit button to get started. The page editor uses a drag and drop system. All you need to do is drag one of the items onto the grid, like this. If there are any options, you can change them here. To get rid of an item, just drag the delete object onto that item, and it's gone. Let's try it with the text editor. Adding content is just like using any word processor. You can adjust the headings, the paragraph, and you can add links. You can even add images. The images menu gives you lots of options to play with. When you're happy with your edits, go ahead and click update. Don't forget to save your page. To get a look at what you've just done, go ahead and click View Page. Uploading files is done through Files and Images located in the main menu. Click the green Upload New Files button. You can upload up to 10 files at a time. You can upload PDF files, Word documents, image files, and even zip files. Once you've uploaded your file, you can find it by clicking the appropriate category. Clicking on the edit icon allows you to edit your image files. You can rotate your images and resize them. You can even crop your images. When you're finished, click Preview Changes. If you're satisfied, go ahead and click Save. And here's your newly edited file. You can access your templates and template settings under the Global Settings menu. To get a list of the templates available, click the drop-down menu. Here you can see all the templates you have available. To use one, click Use Template. The Settings tab is where you give your website a title, a slogan, and a logo image, along with other things. Don't forget to click save after you edit each section.
As always, to view your changes, simply click View Website. To get more templates, you can browse our template archive. This will let you download any free templates available from our add-ons website. You can preview the template on your website and then install the template. Menu navigation settings are accessed through the Pages menu. From here, you can add main menu and sub-menu items. Add a custom menu link by giving it some display text and the complete URL, including the HTTP. Your new link is available under Available Pages. Don't forget to click Save Menu System. And here's our new menu system, complete with submenu item. Getting help has never been easier. You can always click the help button in the upper right hand corner. From here you can access the user's manual and learn more about each feature. We also have the video tutorials built right in. You can even open a support ticket straight from your website. The help button is always available no matter where you are. You can also contact us directly from our homepage. We also offer free live training. 